What is an intermolecular force? By the end of this video, you'll be able to answer that question, and you'll also be able to explain how intermolecular forces come about. Intermolecular forces, commonly abbreviated IMF. You'll see this all the time. So what are they? Well, in order to figure that out, let's figure out what each of these words means. The first word we'll take a look at is inter. Inter is a prefix that means between. So international relations are relations between nations. Interstellar space is the area in space between stars. That's inter, it means between. No, inter does not mean within. It's a very common misconception. The forces that hold or that are within molecules that hold a single molecule together are covalent bonds. They're the forces inside a single molecule. So we're not talking about covalent bonds. That's when two electrons from different atoms come together and get shared. Not talking about that. We're talking about something else. We're talking about forces between separate molecules. So an IMF specifically is the force of attraction between separate molecules. The reason I like the word separate is because it reminds us we need at least two molecules in order for there to be an IMF. All right, so let's solve some problems here and figure out what they are. On our note sheet, we had to draw two HBr molecules side by side and then answer some questions about those molecules. Ultimately, from there, we're gonna figure out about IMFs. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Here we go. Draw two HBr molecules side by side. So again, whenever we have to draw molecules, we're gonna be doing Lewis dot diagrams. HBr, you'll notice I'm jumping straight to the final product here. If you can't get to the Lewis dot diagram, then please watch some other videos to get there. Uh, but I'm gonna assume that we're good on Lewis dot diagram drawing right now. So next question, we have to identify if there are any polar bonds and then identify if the molecule itself is polar. So in order to do that, of course, we're gonna look at our periodic table, H and Br. Remember the most electronegative element is fluorine, which is right here. Bromine, pretty close to fluorine on the periodic table, is pretty electronegative. Hydrogen, remember, least electronegative non-metal. It's all the way over here. So it's not gonna be very electronegative. Bromine will pull harder on the electrons, so we're gonna draw a polarity arrow towards bromine on our diagram here. There we go. And let's take a look. If bromine's gonna have the electrons pulled towards it, electrons are negative. Bromine will get a partial negative charge. Hydrogen, partial positive charge. Now, whatever my analysis is for this HBr molecule, it's also gonna be the same for this HBr molecule. They're identical molecules. So let's go ahead and do that over here as well. Partial negative on bromine, partial positive on hydrogen. So what we have first done here is analyze for polar bonds. So of course there is a polar bond. So there are polar bonds. Now, is the molecule overall polar? Well, remember, the molecule overall is polar if there are two separate ends and their opposite charge. Well, clearly there are. The bromine has a partial negative, and the other end, the hydrogen, has a partial positive. You can also analyze looking at the polarity arrow. There's one polarity arrow, and it's not canceled out by another arrow coming the opposite direction. So not only are there polar bonds, this is also a polar molecule. And I'll put polar molecules, because of course, we have two polar molecules. Now. Next step here is we have to determine, are there any, would there be any attraction between the two different molecules? Well, remember, when does attraction come about? It comes about when you've got opposite charges, opposites attract. Let's take a look. This bromine has a partial negative charge. This hydrogen has a partial positive charge, negative and positive. What are they gonna do? They will attract. So the way we will identify an attraction between separate molecules is with a dotted line. Notice the force holding these two atoms together, that covalent bond is gonna be a solid line. And I'm gonna label this here. This is an IMF. Why? It is a force of attraction between 
separate molecules, right? The negative and positive attract. So what kind of IMF do we have? Well, another name for this polar molecule here, or this kind of polar molecule, is a dipole. Why is it a dipole? Well, remember the prefix dipole means two, carbon dioxide, CO2. Here we've got a pole with two ends, the negative end and the positive end. So we've got a dipole. Over here, this HBr molecule, identical, another dipole. Partial negative, partial positive. So what we have here is an attraction between this dipole and this dipole, specifically the partial negative on one dipole and the partial positive on another dipole. They attract. So the name of this IMF is a dipole, dipole, IMF. And again, how does it come about? It's because we've got two polar molecules here and the partial negative on one molecule attracts to the partial positive on the separate molecule. Force of attraction between separate molecules, dipole-dipole IMF.